This year, the Australian Open is back in Melbourne, Australia for the first time in full capacity since COVID struck in 2020. One player who's always been in the headlines is Novak Djokovic, who, despite being unvaccinated, was famously granted an exception to play in the 2022 tournament, only to have this overturned and him not being able to defend his title. Despite Novak being one of the best players of tennis, with players like Nick Kyrgios out with injury and Roger Federer retired, does Novak Djokovic still have the selling power to bring fans back to the court at the Australian Open? To answer this, I hit the streets of the Australian Open to find out just how much people were willing to pay to see this superstar play once again on our shores. did you pay for your tickets today? Uh, 200 each. 200 each. Yeah. And does that let you see the big game? Yes. So how did you get them that cheap? Was it a year in advance? No, it was only a few days ago. A few days ago? Yeah, yeah. Thousand dollar tickets? Thousand dollars? 209. Oh, 209. She paid thousand each. <laughs> she paid, who paid, who paid? Of course, Christy paid. She's the boss. And was it a present? Look, I'm hopeful that the present might come later. <laughs> down here, what was the damage down on this area? Um, 20 bucks. 20 bucks yeah. for this. And do you rate it better than the big court, do you think? Yeah, it's good, but the big court's better, I reckon. How much is your tennis experience going to cost you today? 3.30. 3.30? 30. 3.30. Does that get you right on the front seat or not? Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. I think like 10 seats back, maybe. And did you get them in advance or? Yeah, before the draw came out. Oh, before the draw. So this was just a roll of the dice roll for you. Yes. All right. You got pretty lucky. Well, you got, got the best lucky. game. Got best game. Lucky. Despite my expectations, no one had paid the thousands of dollars I'd expect them to pay to see a superstar. In fact, now that I think about it, after talking with everyone, maybe I'm the sucker being forced to pay $799 for a ticket online. That being said, I did find one special fan called Sandy who's in for a big surprise. Sandy's all the way from Bendigo, so if you don't know and you're watching, that's a couple of hours from Melbourne, Two right? Hours. And so what, is it your dream to see Novak? Definitely, yeah. How much of a dream? Pretty, pretty high up there. Have you ever seen him before? No. Never no. in person? No. But you've driven all this way and you can't get in? Yeah. Novak Serbian and I'm half Croatian and half Bosnian. Well, that's how much I love him. So you're in need of a miracle, right? Yeah. I actually wanted to see the Open as well, right. but I don't really care that much. I'm joking. If you want to go in, watch the game, I wouldn't mind. Is that a joke? No. Are you serious? If you've come all the way from Bendigo, yeah. I've Not come. Your best <laughs> it's your lucky day. Oh my god. But you'll have to tell me what the seat's like. For now, I'm just gonna give it to you. Oh my god. And you just gotta spread the, the good love. I'll spread whatever you want. <laughs> no, spread whatever. So I'm gonna give you the ticket now. Off you go. Yeah, okay. enjoy the match. So now that now so sweet. now Sandy's gonna find out if it's a scam. <laughs> Sandy, do you think I can trust you with this camera? So I don't know how to use it. All you have to do is press record, I'll show you how and yep. I hope you have a great time. Thanks so game. much, thank you. Sandy and I are together at the end. Did you have a good time? Had an amazing time. Thank you so much. I'm about to burst into tears. It's incredible. If you like this video, maybe we'll go visit Sandy uh, in Bendigo, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Welcome anytime. So nice to meet you. So lovely to meet you and too. See you guys Thanks next so time. <laughs>